I'm Matt Bainton, and if I had some advice for my 17-year-old self, it would be to not be afraid, or uh, to paraphrase a writer called Elizabeth Gilbert, to say that fear can come along for the ride, but it can't take the wheel. Hello, I'm Nish Kumar, stand-up comedian and curly boy. If I could go back in time and give my 17-year-old self a piece of advice, it would be, don't be so afraid of failure. Experimenting is all a part of being young, and it's much worse to not do anything because you're so afraid of failing than to try and not succeed. Also, not everyone is as interested in Jimi Hendrix as you are, and maybe don't exclusively talk in terms of Hendrix trivia. I'm not saying don't give people Jimi Hendrix trivia. I'm saying the variety is the spice of life. And that is also true of conversation. Thanks very much. Hi everyone, my name is Jomi Adenke. I'm a journalist and author. And my advice to my 17 year old self would be to get very comfortable with defining success on your own terms um, because it's something that you will most certainly be doing at the age of 17. In the years before that, I most certainly was looking at what my friends and my family and my teachers defined as success, probably still even at 17 to be honest, and trying to fit myself into that despite feeling awkward and uncomfortable and not actually naturally being good at the things that um, I felt I was supposed to be. So it was only when I kind of realised where my strengths lay, where my talents lay um, and understood that whilst you know it would be a difficult journey and I might not necessarily appear to be successful for some time, it was still worth um, trying and giving it a go because it was something that um, meant a lot to me and fit into my version of what success would be, which was essentially doing work that I loved and enjoyed and doing it well. So yeah, um, keep going 17 year old Yomi, you're doing amazingly, <laughs> but at the same time, try and keep your eyes on the prize. I'm Sanjeev Baskar. What I would say to my 17 year old self, uh, I would say it's a marathon, not a sprint, so be in it for the long term. And the language that you use about yourself, try to change it and keep it as positive as you can. So instead of failure and disappointments, see them as moments to learn. Uh, instead of obstacles, see challenges. A problem is just a thing that you haven't found a solution to yet. Um, instead of successes, see stepping stones. Instead of chances, see opportunities. So um, it's just about, I think, keeping positive within yourself. Someone a lot smarter than me, most people are a lot smarter than me, once said that the definition of luck was readiness plus opportunity. So each time just be as ready as you can be for when that opportunity comes along. Keep positive, keep looking forward. Hello, Joe Lysett here. And I would give this advice to myself if I were 17. And I try and give it to myself regularly now. And the advice is, have a go. Don't worry about, oh, it's not going to be any good. People will think I'm an idiot. People won't be impressed by it. Just have a go. If you want to try painting, you want to try writing, you want to try skateboarding, you want to make a sausage and bean casserole, have a go. You could be absolutely brilliant at it. And if you're not, it doesn't matter. You had a go. And generally, it feels nice to have a go and do things. So that's my advice. Have a go, but not drugs or um, murder. <laughs>